This video will demonstrate how easy it is to use the new automatic alignment feature in the latest 4.5 version of the Blue Sky Plan and after seeing the fantastic results it's sure to be your go-to alignment choice. We'll first demo the auto alignment function in the wizard and then in the manual modes, normal or advanced. Here in the wizard I have a case already up on the screen and I've already placed the nerves and I'm ready to import the STL model as the next step. I'll click on next to continue and the navigation screen opens. I have my file here on the desktop. I'll just double click on it and you'll see the automatic alignment feature. It's automatically identified as a mandible. Just double check and simply click OK. It's thinking. It's going to take a short amount of time. In the panoramic I can click on each of the teeth and look in the cross sections to show the hint line around the teeth that the model is snug against the outline of the teeth. And this is showing that the alignment could not be any better. The auto alignment will also work in the non-wizard modes and will show it in normal mode. The DICOMs have already been loaded, the nerve identified. We'll click on File and Import STL Model. The navigation screen comes up. I'll double click on the model file that I have saved under the desktop. The model manipulation panel will click Align under the Automatic Alignment. It's like Mandible has already been identified. If not, I would just simply click on the other radio button. Click Align to start the Automatic Alignment function. And from the pano, it looks like it's a very, very good stitch. But to be more specific, let's OK the alignment. Back in the standard view, if you click on each of the teeth in the panoramic, and notice how the hint line hugs the crowns, it's a good indication that this was a successful stitch. To further check the stitching, scrolling with the scroll wheel or dragging the scroll bar, the scroll up arrow in the axial view to watch the hint line to make sure that it and the teeth disappear at the same time. We have the projections in the way, so we'll go up to the all projections toggle switch. And now I have a less obstructed view and I can up scroll to see that the teeth and the hint lines disappear at the same time. I'll quickly switch to advanced mode by clicking in the upper right corner on the mode drop down, clicking advanced, and repeating the same steps. On the file menu, click on import model STL, double click on the file, and again, just like before in normal mode, clicking on the automatic line, checking that the correct arch has been checked. If not, check it and click align to show that there's really no difference in the steps whether you're in normal mode or advanced. Clicking OK will bring us to the other view and we'll be able to right drag and push forward to zoom in on the panel. Clicking the panel on each of the teeth and looking at the cross sections hint lines for the model and watching the contour to show that the model and the outline of the teeth are as one. And once again, in the axial view, I'll shut off the projections and scroll through the crowns to make sure that there's a snug hint line of the model around the teeth, as well as disappearing at the same time the teeth disappear. And this shows how much simpler the automatic alignment feature is and that it's easier than ever before to do a quick alignment. 